I think stretching is really important because a lot of us pay so much attention to cardiovascular fitness or strength or resistance training, and we typically forget about stretching, but yet so many of us have feelings of tightness, feelings of aches, pain, soreness. The antidote to that may be as simple as stretching. The stretching challenge is 30 days of doing some type of stretching routine every day. It does not have to be super long. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't need any special equipment. Stretching is for anyone, any age, any fitness level, anytime, anywhere. And everyone should stretch. I'll tell you why. We are creatures of habit, and as human machines, we tend to go through the same mechanics of movement repetitively throughout our day. Therefore, you have opposing muscle groups that can get tight, and then other groups that can get actually too loose. So you really want to balance those out, and stretching is not just for pre-activity. It's literally for any time. The benefits of stretching, if you look at the sports physiology literature, they literally run the gamut head to toe. They can improve mood, they can reduce the incidence or severity of certain types of tension headaches or stress headaches. They can improve sleep, concentration. They definitely can improve posture. And of course, from a musculoskeletal standpoint, it can improve aches, pains, soreness, but it's just a great way to release stress and to relax, either at the beginning of your day, or at the end of your day, or even both. So even though you don't need any additional or special equipment to start a stretching routine, there are some pieces of equipment that you may want to get or use. I love them, but I don't use them all the time. One of them is literally something everyone has, a towel. Go into your bathroom, go into your kitchen, get a towel. You can wrap it around your foot, the arch of your foot. Use it to, to move your leg, especially if you're pretty stiff or not that flexible. This is a great way to start, but you can also use a towel for your upper body. But my favorite piece of equipment for stretching is a foam roller. What this enables you to do is to use your body weight to put pressure on this foam roller in a way that you couldn't do without the foam roller. So you can literally roll on top of it and get all those hard to reach spots with pressure that you can't supply on your own. I love it, I highly recommend it. The basic premise of tips for stretching is you should never do anything that hurts. You should never stretch a pulled or injured body part without consultation with an orthopedist or physical therapist. And in general, you wanna be a little bit warm before you start stretching. If you're not already warmed up with some kind of physical activity, you definitely wanna go slowly. But I wanna emphasize, stretching does not have to come after a workout, and it doesn't really even have to come before a workout. Stretching, in some cases, could be your workout. The other tip I would recommend if you wanna try a stretching challenge, think of this like brushing your teeth. Every single day, you're gonna stretch for one or two minutes. It does not have to be longer than that to feel the benefits. Just do an experiment, see how you feel. I bet you're gonna feel better. And lastly, just remember to breathe. This should not be painful. It shouldn't feel like torture. It should actually feel good. And it's not about how flexible you are. It's about how stretching makes you feel.